I'm Veronica Shingleton Smith and I am the creator of Mamiku Gardens. It was a dream I wanted to do all my life to create the most beautiful garden. And when I came to St. Lucia, well, a long time ago, it's about 60 years ago, um, I thought, well, this is the ideal place to make a beautiful garden. I was born in an unusual place. I was born in Jerusalem, Palestine. I was sent to school in England when I was seven years old. And then when I was 10, the war, the, the Second World War came along. And so I was separated from my parents and I um, was brought up in a convent, the Canonesses of St. Augustine, which was a, um, a French order of nuns. They were wonderful um, people. They loved gardens and they also loved theatre. And they recognised in me that I had a little, a little talent and one of the nuns wrote an operetta, which I was a star, and I sang a little song called Dear Little Girls and Dear Little Boys, wouldn't you like to see some of my toys? And so that was my first appearance on the stage. <laughs> and then, of course, the good, the good nuns, um, and being French, they, they were passionate about theatre. So when I left school, they encouraged me to continue my theatre work. And they encouraged me to take the entrance to the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London. So eventually I got into the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and that was a wonderful, wonderful experience. But my father and mother had always lived overseas and my father said, please, Please come and visit me in St. Lucius. Please spare a little of your time because I've hardly ever seen you all my life because he'd been in the Palestine police and then the war came along, the Second World War. So I said I'd come for three weeks holiday to spend a little time with him. And I hadn't been here for more than 10 days when I, we went down to Redwee Beach. I was on the beach and I saw this man further up the beach and he looked at me and I looked at him and that was it. And that's why I'm still here in St. Lucia. <laughs> we, 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 we married in a whirlwind romance <laughs> and we were happy all our lives. When I came to St. Lucia and I met Roddy and Derek they, they were passionate about theatre. There was a, an American girl called Patricia and she married Bam Charles. So Patricia Charles was just as passionate about theatre as I was. And she and I were passionate about theatre. And um, we, um, we formed the Creative and Performing Arts Society. And Perlette Louise, um, she loved the theatre, but she didn't want to act or, but she loved to help. And uh, I have very happy memories of those days. I have a, a partner um, of many years in the landscaping business called Christine Lovell. Her, her husband is a, a well-known architect in St. Lucia. They decided, I don't know who decided this, they decided to build on Redwee Beach Holiday Inn. They had to get a landscape architect from Barbados, so they brought this man over. So my friend Christine Lovell had met Richard Colan in Barbados because of the architectural connection. And um, 
we said rather rashly, we'll grow all your plants. <laughs> and so he said, okay, fine. So he helped us a lot in showing us how to propagate plants, how to plant seeds and nourish them and care for them. And we grew all the plants for Holiday Inn. And that's how it all began. And then there came a time when I had spent so much energy making gardens for other people, other hotels. And I wanted to make my own garden. And so I had a wonderfully um, supportive husband, that was Michael Shingleton Smith. And he went full out to help me make Mamiku Gardens. Mamiku Gardens, when I first came to live here, was just a field, a big open pasture. And it was, um, the grass was kept down very short, like beautiful green lawn, by horses and one donkey. I think what I enjoy most is sharing it with other people, seeing the, the enjoyment of other people coming to the, a garden I've created. In my long career, which is about 60 years, with landscaping, uh, hotel gardens, I have always had the most fantastic support from the Hotel and Tourism Association. And if, if ever I had any um, problems with management, Hotel and Tourism Association would always come to my support and explain to the new owner of the hotel what I'm trying to do. <laughs> and I was very honored when they made me an honorary member. And I've got this big certificate that I have in my house. And I look at it and I think, yes, that makes me smile. <laughs>